Hi, uh, my name is Josh Maloney. I'm the director of artist relations for Dean Guitars in Tampa, Florida, and I'm here uh, with Mike Badio and his dog Carly in uh, Mike's studio. How you doing, buddy? Hey, Josh. Um, we're just gonna, you know, sit down, have a little chat, you know, hang out, and give you guys some cool info, and you know, see what happens. So, anyhow, you know, I was I was flying in this morning, and I was kind of thinking uh, some of the stuff that you know we're gonna talk about, and I, I know, man, we've you've been with Dean Guitars for how long? Have you been with us now? Uh, well, I started with Dean Guitars, and, and then uh, so over seven years. Yeah, it's, it's been quite a while, and and over those times we've done trade shows, you know, in Germany and, and Anaheim, and just you know different company events and different things, and uh, and I've kind of gotten the opportunity to you know get to know you as a guy and as a player, and and you know kind of tweak on some of your guitars that we've built for you over the years, and and one of the things I was thinking about that a lot of people always ask me, you know, when they come, we do shop tours and whatnot at the shop, and they come through and, oh man, you know, they ask, well, you know, Mike Badio questions, they say, man, how is his guitar set up? And one of the things that as a guitar player that I always found was, was really original about your setup is that people think you play really low action, and you don't. No. And what's no. so funny is that when we did the uh, Music Mesa in Germany, I had to set up your guitars for your uh, your performances, right. and I automatically defaulted. I, I was guilty of it too, but I automatically defaulted to the low action. And I remember you coming in and trying them out and going, "Man, these are this is too low, you know, crank it up." And then I cranked it up a little bit, and it was even more. So I think that you play your action and your guitar setup a lot differently, I think, than people think that you do. Yeah, you well, know? well, a lot of it's tone. You know what I like to do, too, is you know I like to have the higher strings raised even higher than the lower ones. So. If you look at the neck like this, the strings actually are like that. And, and I like it for tone. Right. Because it doesn't affect the speed playing uh, at all, but it affects the tone. I think if, if the action's too low, it doesn't sound as good. Well, that's it. I mean, you, know, you, you tend to really get under it and grab the strings. You know? Yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, you know, technique wise, you know, I always play like this except for vibrato, old school blues. And uh, yeah, I mean, these guitars here, I'm always, even when I do clinics, I always keep an Allen wrench because when right. people set them up, they just immediately think he plays fast. It's got to be low. And I'm here, you know, right. cranking the action, making it higher. And you you were just down at the. At